in April last year, we, uh, the minister and I, had a radio program where we touched a few items on the housing issues. Some of these were left pending, so I was hoping that we would be able again to meet again on radio, but he doesn't seem to be that way inclined. So instead, we've written to him. Well, you raise a number of issues in your letter, the first one being when will housing for rental be built? But the government says a record number of allocations took place in 2020 and there's been 158 over the past year. So what's your estimate of how much rental stock is needed? On the one hand, he says that he's got enough uh, housing stock. But then on the other hand, I would ask him how is it that people are waiting for years on end before being given an allocation, including social and medical uh, cases. So, I mean, saying that it's got enough housing stock, I think uh, gives a wrong impression to people and uh, gives them false hope, which I think it shouldn't do. The Minister has told you in one of the radio debates that it's a question of turnover, that the stock is there, but it's a question of turnover. Um, how does that response sit with you? I mean, why, why should turnover uh, take months on end? I know that there are difficulties, but I don't think that is the only reason as to why there are not enough uh, housing stock. Uh, we need, I mean, in their 2015 manifesto, they promised to build housing for rental for those people wanting to remain on the list, and they haven't done it. Well, the Minister has pointed out in the past that when you've got a waiting list, it's not just a question of who's at the top, but also there could be someone beneath you in the waiting list who has an urgent situation, a more pressing situation. So there's all sorts of criteria that needs to be taken into consideration. Oh, yes. I mean, we, we, we know how the procedure uh, works. But if they had enough housing, the, the waiting time would not be so enormous as it is now. I mean, we're talking about years, you know. So um, we also have the question, which, which we also raised with him, the question of the uh, hostel. In the late summer of 2020, he said that um, a 600-bed hostel would be built. Uh, what is it? Um, we were hoping that this would cater for the needs of some of the homeless um, single men who, because of a divorce or a separation, end up being uh, homeless. So that would have been a temporary accommodation for people like that. So where is a hostel? The other issue you raise is the amendment to the Housing Act. Stephen Linares has said in the past that Action for Housing will get the chance to have a look at a draft amendment uh, before a command paper is published. Has that happened yet? No, not yet. I mean, the amendments to the Housing Act have been on the cards now for as long as I can remember. And uh, different dates are given for the draft to be made public or given to us, and nothing has happened. So. The latest that we've heard is that it'll be ready by the end of the year. But I mean, will this be another sort of uh, setback? I mean, will this happen at the end of the year or will it be postponed again? What are you hoping to achieve with your open letter? A reply from the minister to all of those pending issues, the ones that we discussed in April last year and which were pending.